everybody, my name is Kerry San, welcome to my channel and I'm very happy that you are here. So, today I thought we would test out a an eyeshadow palette that I bought off Amazon for £10. I thought it would be something very useful to try out because it's very cheap, it's pretty good and you get 35 eyeshadows with it. So a lot of people would say it's a dupe for one of the Morphe, Morphe palettes um, and having never tried a Morphe palette I don't know if that's the truth but looking at Morphe palettes I can sort of tell yeah they are it's the same colours it's the same box just without the Morphe palette on it so this is the box I'm talking about it's just a plain plastic box it's made out of plastic um, but yeah I'm going to try a couple of makeup looks, not too many, and see if they work on my skin colour. Uh, so, let's get into the video. Right, so that's the makeup out of the way and the hair out of the way because I don't want to be colouring in my hair whilst I'm doing my eyeshadow. On the Amazon link where I found the palettes, there were three choices. So there was a choices of more orangey, brownie shades, some with... Uh, quite a lot of purples and blues and some brownie shades, I believe. And then the one that I got, which was mostly pink shades. So every single one of these shades is a shimmer. Every single one. They're all very pretty. Um, and uh, to be honest, they're quite pigmented. I oh, love them. They're just so pretty. Oh, going back on my arm. Um, the white one that I swatched, you can't, can't, obviously cannot see it there. It's just, yeah, it's there. Um, I swatched it, so that one is this one, and this one, this one, and this one. So when you swatch it on the fingers, it's bright. <laughs> it's lovely and shimmery, but once you put it on your arm, it sort of loses the pigment. Actually, looking at it, uh, if you don't really like white-based uh, eyeshadows, this white one could be easily used as a highlighter. Tell you what, we'll try that out in a minute. <laughs> right, not everything, uh, every colour in this palette is my shade. Like, they're not going to look go look very nice on pale skin, I believe. Uh, like, that colour. I'm not really sure what I could do with that. Of course, I'm going to try it out anyway to see if I actually can do anything. Because you can't... Uh, can't say no to it if you haven't tried it. <laughs> so, of course, I have used this palette before. I've only used two of the eyeshadows. Uh, no, four. When I first got it, I tried out two looks. Pinky looking ones. So, I used... I think I used that one that colour and the one at the top, so that one. Um, that was quite bold, so I think that's more like a party <laughs> party thing because of course I don't wear a lot of makeup so I just try to make it as natural and minimalistic as I can. Um, but my everyday one, the one that I always love wearing because it's just so freaking pretty, is I think it's this colour. So it's this colour with, which one are you? can't tell. I think it's that one. Wait no, it's that one. There we go. Uh, I put that one on the, my full eyelid and then that one on my crease. Uh, one thing that was a bit annoying is that on the Amazon site, all of this was shown off as uh, there was some mattes and some shimmers. It's not the case. They're all shimmers. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not moaning because, to be honest, I really do like a shimmer shade. But I was expecting to have a few mattes because, of course, full eye of shimmer. Like for my base, I, there's not a lot of colours I can use. Right. So, how about we get into the eyeshadowing? Hmm. I'm not really sure which one I should start with first. Okay, we'll try. We'll try out three different looks. So we'll try out 
um, a more pinky one. Then we'll try a bit more of a bronzy one. And then afterwards we'll go with the more grey, greeny type colour. And again, we're just from just like the last video, we're back to <laughs> we're back to me not knowing how to name colours. Well, that colour, we'll try and use that in a way. Let's see if I'll be able to do something with it. So we'll try that with that one and that one. Yeah, I've just completely forgotten the colours that I'd chosen for each look. So, <laughs> I'm just going to improvise. Oh, I've got a pretty shiny forehead, haven't I? Oh well. Uh, so I'll start the base. I'll go with... So we'll start with the, like, the, the more pinky natural one. So I'll start with that colour. Oh god, this is falling everywhere. God, this is the one I use all the time. I didn't remember it being this rainfally. <laughs> oh, yeah. One thing you probably noticed. The quality's changed. Way! <laughs> um, that's because I managed to convince my brother, so my 16-year-old brother, who has a better phone than me, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I asked him to lend me his Samsung S8 Plus because the quality on the last video, you could not see the colours any at all. Oh god, this is pigmented. It was a bit... Like, if you look back at the video, then it looks like my eyeshadow is grey. I am wearing um, my eyeshadow like this. In that video, not very obvious, obviously. Obviously, that was a great sentence, Karis. So I just thought my phone isn't good enough. It just makes every single colours like the lipsticks that I had. They didn't look like uh, didn't look like the colours they were supposed to be. It was just a bit of a waste. So I was like, so I had to, <laughs> uh, I had to um, plead earlier. Ask him, um, Di? Yes, that's that's my brother's name. My brother is called Di. It's a Welsh name, just as mine is. Um, I uh, yeah, I'd go up to him and say, Di, you know, I'm your favourite sister in the world. Which probably isn't true because we have, he has four sisters, me and three others, so <laughs> he has the choice. But, um, being the lovely brother he is, he let me borrow his phone, which is very, very kind of him. Thank you, brother. I think shimmers in the corner of the eye look really pretty. It just adds, because to be honest, the corner of my eyes are blue. <laughs> so it doesn't look as good. One thing I was looking at whilst I'd paused everything was the amount of fallout I've got on my hand. I've got a very shimmery hand. <laughs> um... I bet if I mix all of this, it would look really pretty. Oh, it does. A nice highlighted hand now. <laughs> yeah, there's way more fallout than I remember there being. I quite like this makeup look. It's not too crazy, but when I add eyeliner, it looks tons better. Um, So you can sort of tell, like, when I look down like this, you, know, you can tell how pink it is, but when I look up, it just all shimmers and looks so different. I love it. <laughs> I love shimmer, shimmer colours. <laughs> so I'll take all of this off and let's get on to the next look. Right, so again, that's that off. Um, so the next one I'm going to try is the orangey look. So, of course, there's quite a, quite a few orangey shades. There's that one, that one, those three down there. So I'll try and do something with those three. Um, I'm not really sure what. I've never tried orange. Never thought it would be my colour. Um, sorry, my setup just fell apart. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, I just put my brush, like an idiot, into the bright orange set of shade that I was going to use for my crease. Um, Probably not the best thing to do, so I'm gonna I'm gonna clean that off. 
because of course I need a base before I put the bright orange shade on. Um, okay, so I'll go with that one because it's the least bright orange shade that I've got. Yeah, it's not too orange to be honest. It just looks a little... I was about to say it just looks a little orangey. Of course it bloody does! Okay, so now let's put the darker shade the one that I originally put my brush in, so this shade, into my crease. Okay, right, um, considering it looks like I've just got one shade of orange all over my eyes, I'm going to add the lightest shade that I've got on the, um, that bit, whatever that's called. Okay, so that is the orange look. Um, again, like, I don't know if it looks any good because I'm only wearing a one earring. Um, because I always have eyeliner on and I don't like my face when I don't have eyeliner on. So I think a lot of, a lot of people can relate to that. Okay. So I think I've had enough of looking at myself with the orange eyes. Let's try the one that I'm sort of dreading, which is the dark, <laughs> uh, dark shades. I hope it goes well. <gasps> I've just realised which colour I was supposed to use. There we go. That's what I was supposed to use. That looks way darker than it was. It's quite patchy, to be honest. You can probably sort of see... Yeah, yeah, you can see it probably there. <laughs> that one line I've got. I'm not having a good time getting rid of it. God. This is probably as dramatic I've ever gone with eye <laughs> eyeshadow. I've never gone this dramatically. That wasn't the right sentence. Oh god, I'm all over the place in this video. <laughs> Alright, so let's get rid of this one and let's try the one that I'm sort of dreading, which is the dark shades which are more grey and green. Okay, so again, that's that off. Don't want to do this bit, but I have to for you guys. <laughs> right, I'm going to use this shade with that shade. I don't know if this is going to look any good. Uh, one thing I noticed uh, which made me want to do this video is that most of the time when people buy these exact palettes, off Amazon it's always the red and the orange and the brown tinted one because uh, before buying this I really wanted to find someone to see if it was any good um, and I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't see anyone that had a pink palette so I was thought I'm gonna get it anyway and I'm gonna do this video myself to see if anyone would be interested Of course, my brush is not wet. Um, I never really wet them, to be honest. Before doing my makeup, I just use it all dry. Otherwise, I slightly dab it. And <laughs> I dab it all on my um, baby wipes. It just look, Then it just gets a little teeny bit wet but not too much that looks pink with this camera can you tell it's not it's it's like well it is pink but it's like a really dark pastel pink it looks more grey with a little tint, tinge of pink in it well I've been wiping my brush on my hands since earlier I've got very shiny hands <laughs> um this colour I've only seen one person use it um, one of my friends used oh god what have I done oh no uh, one of my friends used it when we were going out well all of my friends used it when we were going out to be honest because it was the only <laughs> eyeshadow palette we had um, but my friend has dark skin so I th uh, she thought that colour would be perfect so I put it on her 
and she was like wow yeah that's great so to be honest i don't know if it's gonna look any good on a skin color as pasty as mine but for the moment it's looking all right it's actually looking quite decent again it's very patchy and it's taking me a bit of a time to blend out right since so this since this is the last makeup look i'm gonna put my eyes no i'm gonna put my eyeliner on and we'll see if it looks any better but for the moment i'm not hating it it's just not the look i'd normally go for because of course i prefer looking a bit more natural i think people people know how difficult 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 it is to put eyeliner on one day i'll do a video on how to do eyeliner because the the amount of friends that i've taught how to do it it's phenomenal yeah if you guys would like to see an eyeliner tutorial like this video and i'll try and get that done for you guys yeah so that's my hair done because of course i've finished um that little look so i've got my eyeliner on i've not put any mascara on but i don't think you'd be able to see the difference anyway right so i'm not wearing any highlighter today uh because i don't normally put highlighter on anyway i'm not used to doing it yet since i only bought my last highlighter in the last video so i'm going to try and test this one out one thing I forgot to point out in the last video was what the brush felt like. I just pointed out that I'd bought a brush and that's it. This brush is amazingly fluffy. So, of course, this is the brush that I got off Shop Miss A. And it feels gorgeous. I was expecting it to be, like, a little bit sharp. And, you know, when they're a bit rough on the, on the tips, this one feels amazing. It feels like I'm using a professional brush. So, if I try to use this on that white eyeshadow so that one right there we'll see if i can do a, a decent highlight oh god <laughs> it's very pigmented oh it's raining eyeshadow yeah oh wow <laughs> i was looking at it in my mirror originally and i was thinking that doesn't look that good i looked up straight into the camera and i was like oh okay <laughs> yeah you can see that that looks absolutely amazing oh, that's blinding that's amazing and it you can't tell that i've literally it doesn't look like i've just put white powder all over my face it genuinely looks like a highlighter oh, hacks <laughs> so see if you get this palette you can get it for the eyeshadow highlighter how amazing is that oh wow i've seen other makeup artists uh i've seen other makeup i've seen other beauty gurus put it on their lips as well i don't like that <laughs> i don't think it looks very nice um oh my god i can't get over how pretty that is i'm in love with it it looks very nice <laughs> so yeah honestly if you don't really care about fallout this palette is amazing it has quite a lot of colors of course they're all pink based but you can have highlighters in it there are so many colors that are capable to be highlighters that are just bright like you could use of course that one possibly mm, that one more i'd say and that one that one if you're darker skinned there's so many possibilities to use this for a highlighter as well so you get two in one if you get this palette you get a highlighter palette and an eyeshadow palette so i hope you enjoyed this video again it's way too long because <laughs> my videos tend to always be because i ramble loads too much uh but I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it because it made me, oh, it forced me to try out different looks. And to be honest, I quite liked every single one of them. Uh, the last two were more um, extravagant. <laughs> uh, 
than I'm used to but I think that I could get into them and start wearing them every single day because they're just gorgeous um but yeah I thank you very much for clicking on this video uh feel free to like to subscribe and to share this with your friends if you feel like they'd enjoy listening to me talk way too much <laughs> Um, and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>